brought a lot of the stuff from the basement earlier. So all this here um, came out of that bucket, okay. and supposedly it came, uh, the previous owners found it when they lowered the basement floor, mm -hmm. uh, probably in the early, mid-70s, someplace in there, and this stuff as well. Mm -hmm. This stuff here is all stuff that we've just found outside. Actually, this is stuff that I found after the tropical storm, uh, what, two weeks ago, right, or yes. last week. Just washed up when I was coming up the hill, uh -huh. and like this came from when I dug out the fountain for the fountain mm -hmm. out front. So, like the Malaca or something like that. What's that? Oh, just some commenting on the type of clay. <laughs> That's why he's here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's old yeah. and not old, and you know. Michael, we're we're gonna get your uh your whole take on it. Sure. This looks like part of the pipe. Yep. Yeah, sort of That is quite a haul. Did you make a wish on the horseshoe? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, it's it, we kept saying we got it. This this was kind of the uh, it was the incentive, the impetus to go through that box was you guys coming because right. You know, we, it's one of those things we kept saying we need to do that. We need to do that. So you had a second bucket. Did you go through the second one no, yet or not? That's that one there. Oh, okay. I brought it up earlier. So, so cool. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's like yeah. really intricate. Yep. That one's nice. This one's pretty, uh, oh, I like that. Is that manganese, manganese please, local. That's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold no, that up wasn't. again, which one? No. Manganese? Manganese. Wow. What does that mean? Manganese is the material to make the color of the clear glaze. So this was probably uh, lead, so right from like, um, Autobahn, what was that? There was a big smelter there, the big Autobahn house. Uh, there was a huge smelter there, so um, that's where they made all the lead. So this is a lead or galena glaze with manganese in it. Wow. So yeah, that's cool. Neat. Very neat. Pretty. Can you tell what that might have been a part of a pot or? A... Yeah, it was just a pot. That was okay. like a. Yeah, this is like an old old redware pot. That's yep. awesome. So that was a, maybe an original pot from around here. And so was this. This is a. Manganese and a clear. Sorry, my have tar or sorry, glue and concrete all over my it's hands. Part, it's part of the, um, it's but part that's of the all manganese as well. That's, that's really cool. pretty. Chris, do you want to give him the salt glaze one, and he can sit talk about mm -hmm. that one? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. This is, so this is awesome. Glaze on the inside. Of that. Yeah. 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 A lot of the redware they only they only glazed like because all the pots were for use, so they were just glazing the inside. Mm -hmm. um, so Oh wow! Something with yep. Red, right? yep. Well, yeah. They didn't yeah. know that that was bad back then. <laughs> they didn't know so, it was bad. Yeah. We wanted to talk about yep. that one. Yeah. Right. And, and this one's like a. This is a salt glazed piece stoneware. Um, that's earthenware. Uh, this is this is vitrified. Um, so vitrified stoneware that's fired in a salt kiln, and you can tell because it's. Um, sort of orange peeled here. So yeah, they course. throw salt into the into the kiln and that glazes the piece. So at high fire, it sort of attacks the clay and volatilizes and, and creates that glaze. That's cool. So, and then you said on the other side, you could see that's the- Yeah, so that's, that. yep. So those are thrown throwing marks and you can kind of, you know, you can't really tell which is which side is which, but that that is probably, um, you know, a different color clay in there. So there's slip that they threw with had different iron content in it. So that's why you got that sort of, you know, that sort of uh, marking, which is really pretty. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's go look at the other bucket. Now, I didn't mm -hmm. clean any of this because I didn't yeah, know you, if I should. I used a little paintbrush on some. Is it okay if we're here? Oh yeah, 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 it's plastic. Ooh, what's that say? Don't what? It's kind of hard for me to tell. It's broken. Well, obviously. All right, I'll take a still of that, and we can figure it out later. So you think that this would have all just been trash, basically? Trash, yeah. Not like a local kiln or anything like that. Like, you know, they weren't they weren't producing this. So even all this stuff that I was finding down by the, uh -huh. the creek and stuff, you think that's just all? I wouldn't say that it was made here. They would have been, in, in that period, they would have been making like 
breadware. So yeah. the reason it seemed possible, I mean, one of the reasons was because there's a spring down there yeah. where it was, and it's all mm -hmm. along the creek and everything. So right. that's what kind of why we thought maybe we could take a walk down there. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, like if it's on a creek, like um, they wouldn't build a kiln site on sort of a creek bed or okay. a slope okay because it would probably fall in that was just their trash pile maybe yeah like shard pile of sorts so yeah it just, lots of good stuff yeah it seemed to be strange to find all of this in one location and mm -hmm. then walk in the yard when we were but here we're still finding it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean That's we're crazy. not digging for it it's just this stuff just all washed up during yeah, yeah. The, yep during the storm. you go down with a metal detector to find this stuff no, did we find any did your brother find any of this with the metal detector camera? Um my brother did, but my race did. Some of the nails and stuff? Yeah, the metal grommets. The grommets? Oh this thing? Yeah. Yep, yeah. The grommets are cool. Yeah. Those were they were pulled out of the yard, yeah. Yeah, it's with George Washington's as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 There's three stick it to it. Yeah. He slept here too, didn't he? Well, his teeth were made from one of our trees. <laughs> <laughs> current theory. That's, yeah, that's, that's my hypothesis. Yeah. Um, so Chris also said too that because this was a development, there was so much excavating done yeah. and dumping that you don't know what, what dirt came from where. And the trash, I mean, they didn't have trash collection back in the day. So everybody, I mean, I have a, my house was built in 1905 and I have a trash pile in my yard that we're still finding stuff in. So they just yeah. threw everything out. Yeah. So if they excavated to do the development, you can't tell what right. dirt came from where. Basically. Earthenware would be like um, Pennsylvania German sort of clay pots. Clay red pot. clay pots with decoration on it. So um, you can tell by the shape. The shapes, um, uh, if so, a jug shape. If it was narrow in the base, it was made for community, and if you had a wide base, it was made for exporting. Oh, so wow. you can tell a lot by the shape. Huh. And then what period was, and where it was being exported to and, and from. So, oh, wow. So there was kind of like the first plastic, which oh, is kind right. of interesting. Oh, yeah. So is there anything here that's particularly, I mean, to me it's all interesting. Is yeah, it's anything, all interesting. Is there anything that's particularly? I really like this one. That was really, beautiful. Yeah, it's like, because it's just too, it's a clear, you know, it's a clear glaze, and then it's manganese as well. So just manganese, so it's just got... A couple different variations, and it's you know? glaze on both sides, right? Correct. Yep. And how old would something like that be? Um, this is the, so this. I mean, it's got to be like at least two hundred, I would say, right? Wow. wow. So eighteen sixty was some of that pottery production. Okay. That time. That's okay. So yeah, we know the pottery was here. It was willed in eighteen twenty-three. Mm -hmm. So whatever, you know, whatever they were making. The McCrae's owned the house at the corner of Pot Shop, what's today Pot Shop. It used to be called Pot Kiln Road, Pot Shop, and Germantown Pike. So that was the McCrae's. John? Is it is not there now? It's still there. Oh, the one that's kind of set back a yes. little bit up this way? Yes. Okay, so yes. that's the one at the end of the cul-de-sac. Yeah, yeah exactly. Germantown Pike. Okay. That just sold a few years ago. So John McCrae willed that house, which he called a pottery, in 1823. The thing with this whole area was all of the kids were intermarried with each other. So you had the Hebners, you had the McCrae's, you had the Slows, you had the Taney's, you had all of these names that all intermarried with each other. Tax rolls in this area show at least four people who claim to be potters as their occupation, mm -hmm. which yeah. is kind of yeah. neat. So. so this is where we find a lot of that stuff right in here. Okay. Where the yeah, yeah. And that's the natural spring, right? Yeah. There's the spring. Chris is forever looking. This one? Oh, cool. Like a, looks yeah, like a loaf of bread. That yeah, yeah, that would be a blemish, like a brick that they would throw away. How does it get bloated like that? Um, the they're, They either fired it and it didn't the water didn't release um, and it boiled or they put too much gas into the kiln and it sort of reduced and oh that's crazy sort of expanded. looks like a banana bread yeah, it does crazy. do you think the brick would have been made here or i don't i would have to see like the old plans and things you never know i mean there's there's bricks like 
all over Phoenixville. Mm -hmm. um, the there's big, plant. big, huge mm -hmm. brick plants. And supposedly the stone to build the house was supposedly quarried out of the hill here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can see. Well, look at all that. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. Right. This is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, was, the porches wow. were added after. And so were the dormers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Went wow. from plain Jane farmhouse to... So this floor was dug up mm -hmm. and then excavated down and then put back down, correct? Yep, supposedly she labeled all the bricks and put them back down exactly where they were. Mm -hmm. How long ago was that done? Uh, it was when the whole spot lived here, so they... 70s? Yeah, probably in the 70s. 1970s? Yeah, yeah 1970s, yeah. How much dirt did they remove? How many feet? Mm -hmm. They, I, yeah, I thought they said it was eight. I thought they told us it was at like eighteen inches, something like okay. that. So this is the the interesting yeah, the part. So we think this was. Were, I think the stove. They stove this right upstairs. So I think this is where they fed the fire for upstairs. Zirconium washed. So it's. That, that that skin on there, uh -huh. the skin on the stone or the brick is zirconium. What is that? It's just a like a, a wash that they would coat so it wouldn't break down. Okay. Do you need to take the heat? Yeah, or just that it's just the sort of cleaner. Is it like a plaster kind of? Yeah. Yeah, zirconium and water. Is that something that, that's not something they use in modern day, is it? Or is they that, do, okay. yeah. Like you can coat a salt kiln, like that salt glaze. So it keeps from the bricks breaking down. It's a shame you can't make out what's on the bottom. Yeah, yeah we tried rubbings and all that stuff on the cast, but it's, but it's too far gone. It's decorative too, so. Mm -hmm. Decorative stove plate. Yeah. yeah, and the door's gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all like uh, yeah. Moravian tile works stuff. Exactly, yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Area. Yeah, very German influence. Mm -hmm. 